In this video, we will discuss about VRRP that is Virtual Router Redundancy Protocol. In this topology, IP addresses are pre-configured and EIGRP100 is running. Now, VRRP is an open standard based protocol alternative to HSRP and it is similar to HSRP but here the active router is called master router whereas all other routers are in backup state. And to configure VRRP, first we will move to router 1 and moving to the configuration mode. Then interface pass Ethernet 0 by 0 and to configure VRRP on this interface of the router, we will use VRRP then its group number which ranges from 1 to 255 and we will use here 1 then the virtual IP of 172.168.101.1 then enter now VRRP is enabled on router 1 and it will prompt a message that for group 1 this interface is in master state now we will move to router 2 and to configure VRRP. First, we will move to the configuration mode, then interface fast Ethernet 0 by 0. And to enable VRRP, we will use VRRP, then its group number 1, then the virtual IP of 172.168.101.1, then enter. Now, VRRP is enabled on router 2 also. Now, it will prompt a message that router 2 will become master for group 1. And the reason behind this is preemption is by default enabled in VRRP and in VRRP the election of master router is based on router ID and priority and since priority of both the routers is same that is 100 which is the default priority in VRRP so the decision goes to router ID and since router 2 is having higher router ID so it will become master router. Now to, to verify VRRP we will move to router 1. And first we will verify VRRP on router 1 by using show VRRP in enter. Now here we will see that for group 1 the state is backup and the virtual IP address is 172.168.101.1. The virtual MAC address used in VRRP is 0000.5e00.0101 and the 01 is used for group 1. And here we will also see that the preemption is by default enabled in VRRP and the default priority is 100 and the master router is 172.168.101.3 which is the IP address of fast Ethernet 0 by 0 interface of router 2. Similarly we will verify VRRP on router 2 also. So moving to router 2 and show VRRP then enter. And here we will see for group 1 its state is master and virtual IP address is 172.168.101.1 and the master router is 172.168.101.3 that is local that means router 3, router 2. Now if we will ping course LAN from host, so moving to host then ping. 172.168.102.1 then enter and we will get reply through master that is router 2. Now if router 2 goes down that means if master goes down and for this we will move to configuration mode then interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 and enter then shut. Then the backup router will become master and we will verify it on router 1. So show VRRP and we can see that router 1 will become master. Now if we will again ping course LAN from host. So we will move to host and we will again do ping and we will get reply. So this is how VRRP provides redundancy to the host and this is all about VRRP. Thank you.